Hello friends, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel SS Hub for Fundas and Concepts. Our today's topic is light. Light or visible light is electromagnetic radiation within the portion of the electromagnetic spectrum that can be perceived by the human eye. Visible light is usually defined as having wavelengths in the range of 400 to 700 nanometers. This wavelength means a frequency range of roughly 430 to 750 terahertz. The main source of light on earth is sun. Sunlight provides the energy that green plants use to create sugars mostly in the form of starches which release energy into the living things that digest them. This process of photosynthesis provides virtually all the energy used by living things. Historically, another important source of light for humans has been fire from ancient campfires to modern kerosene lamps. With the development of electric light and power systems, electric lighting has effectively replaced fire light. Light travels along a straight line. Reflection of light one way to change the direction of light is to let it fall on a shiny surface. For example, a shining stainless steel plate or a shining steel spoon can change the direction of light. The surface of water can also act like a mirror and change the path of light. You must have noticed the reflection of trees or buildings in water. Any polished or a shiny surface can act as a mirror. You have learned in class 6 that a mirror changes the direction of light that falls on it. This change of direction by a mirror is called reflection of light. Right or left? When you see your image in a plain mirror, is it exactly like you? Have you ever noticed that there is one interesting difference between you and your image in a mirror? Do a small activity to understand this. Stand in front of a plain mirror and look at your image. Raise your left hand. Which hand does your image raise? Now touch your right ear. Which ear does your hand touch in your image? Observe carefully. You will find that in the mirror the right appears left and the left appears right. Note that only sides are interchanged. The image does not appear upside down. Let us do another activity. Write down your name on a piece of paper and hold it in front of a plain mirror. How does it appear in the mirror? Can you understand why the word ambulance is written as shown in the picture? The reason for this is when the driver of a vehicle ahead of an ambulance looks in her or his rear view mirror, he or she can read with the word ambulance written on it and give way to it. It is the duty of everyone of us to allow an ambulance to pass without blocking its way. Spherical mirrors. You can also see a spoon or a curved shining surface to see your image. Try this. Take a stainless steel spoon, bring the outer side of the spoon near your face and look into it. Do you see your image in it? Is this image different from what you see in a plain mirror? Is this image erect? Is the size of the image the same? If so, is it smaller or larger? The curved shining surface of a spoon acts as a mirror. The most common example of a curved mirror is a spherical mirror. The inner surface of a spoon acts like concave mirror, while its outer surface acts like a convex mirror. Let us find out what does the words concave mirror and convex mirror mean. Convex and concave mirrors. If the reflecting surface of a spherical mirror is concave, it is called 
a concave mirror if the reflecting surface is convex then it is a convex mirror we know that the image of an object formed by a plane mirror cannot be obtained on a screen let us investigate if it is also true for the image formed by a concave mirror you might have observed that in the side mirror of a bike or a car the images of all the objects appear smaller than the objects themselves have you ever wondered why is it so can you now recognize the mirrors used as side mirrors in scooters these are convex mirrors convex mirrors can form images of objects spread over a large area so these help the drivers to see the traffic behind them sunlight is it white or colored let us find out have you ever seen a rainbow in the sky it is very beautiful you might have noticed that it appears usually after the rain when the sun is low in the sky the rainbow is seen as a large arc in the sky with many colors how many colors are present in a rainbow when observed carefully there are seven colors in a rainbow though it may not be easy to distinguish all of them these are red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet so we can conclude that a white light is composed of seven colors let us summarize what we have learnt in this chapter light travels along straight lines any polished or a shining surface acts as a mirror an image which can be obtained on a screen is called a real image an image which cannot be obtained on a screen is called a virtual image the image formed by a plane mirror is erect it is virtual and is of the same size as the object the image is at the same distance behind the mirror as the object is in front of it in an image formed by a mirror the left side of the object is seen on the right side in the image and the right side of the object appears to be on the left side in the image a concave mirror can form a real and inverted image when the object is placed very close to the mirror the image formed is virtual erect and magnified image formed by a convex mirror is erect virtual and smaller in size than the object a convex lens can form real and inverted image when the object is placed very close to the lens the image formed is virtual erect and magnified when used to see objects magnified the convex lens is called a magnifying glass a concave lens always forms erect virtual and smaller image than the object white light is composed of seven colors i thank you all for your listening and please stay tuned to this channel for more updates cheers